And let me show you what we're seeing, a sea of red across the board. You can see the FTSE down almost 2%, same for the CAC, uh, same for the DAX, down some 2.6%. What exactly is the reasoning of this? Are they worried, are markets suddenly anxious that the U.S. is overheating, and so they worry more about inflation than a possible depression? There is clearly worry about inflation, and there is a follow-over to worrying about interest rates and bond yields. And clearly, the mathematics of equity valuation are hugely affected by what goes on in the bond markets. OK, but how long can this continue? We telegraphed it quite a lot. Do they not watch surveillance, the markets? They certainly should. But I think that there are an awful lot of people who bought into the market via exchange-traded funds. And while we will see these significant fund flows, will drive markets down. But the underlying reality for equity investors is the corporate earnings numbers are immeasurably better than many had right. expected. So the rise that we have observed has involved a relative reduction in the valuation. In other words, the earnings numbers have been rising faster than the market level. So this is not down to stretched valuation. OK, but at the same time, it seems that, you know, the, the, the market correction was so fast and so volatile. Were there unwinding of positions? And, and why did markets take those positions? Oh, I think we have to get used to the expectation that markets markets will react with extreme speed because there is now so much technology engaged in how people so take So it's algorithms and basically Absolutely. kicking in. Uh, algorithms and stop losses, very much as we saw in 1987. But this, to me, is about selling of exchange-traded funds, indiscriminate selling as a result. OK, is this a correction? Is this the start of a bear market? What is it? This is most definitely not the start of a bear market. I shall come back on South and eat a hat if it is. Uh, and I say that because the fundamentals are exceptionally supportive of equities as prices begin to decline. That is because we have stronger earnings growth. We still have hardly any inflation. 